Masterpiece. Game of the year 2023, better than Elden Ring, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and other overrated games. Despite being hated, I consider this a special game since it has an interesting story. Quite the ball sacky game. Such a poor game, much bad in this game. What horrid graphics, very lazy, and fastly made. My balls itch just looking at this pile of bad. Not a lot to say guys, this is one of the most polished, awe-inducing, mouth-watering stories I have ever partaken in. I had the most smiggling time playing this game. I am absolutely loving this game. It features one of the most original stories in the Lord of the Rings franchise and the gameplay is both fun and exciting. Sure, there are some bugs here and there but they will be patched quickly enough. Daedalic isn't the first studio to fall victim of a greedy publisher setting an unreasonable deadline and it won't be the last. However, this is genuinely fantastic game that will delight true fans of the Lord of the Rings franchise and leave the haters, losers, and fair weather fans by the wayside as they cry and whine about things like Gollum is ugly! Oh really? Was Timothy Chalamet not available for the role? And the graphics are bad! Tell me, how were the graphics in the original J.R.R. Tolkien novels again? Despite not even having played the game. Give it a chance and you too, like myself, might find yourself cradling the PS5 disc as you roll around half naked around the house in delight, eating raw fish and saying, my precious, in much the same manner as Gollum himself from the movie. Shame on you Daedalic, were you desperate for the worst game of the year award with this crap? Graphics, okay, nope. Animations, okay, nope. Gameplay, okay, nope. Mechanics, okay, nope. Makes fun to play, nope. Is the Lord of the Rings license worthy? Nope. Take the full price of 60 bucks, of course. Okay, this is not a game, it's a scam. One, horrible graphics, it hurts my eyes. Two, bugs and glitches everywhere. Three, voice acting is so bad. 4. This game is not about Gollum, it's about the characters around Gollum. 5. Story is trash, it belongs in a dumpster. 6. There's even a graphical bug where the screen flashes horribly, I even got a seizure. 7. If you want the full game, you need to buy all the DLC. It's stuff that you normally see in completed games, law compendium, law accurate, elf dialogue, etc. Okay, overall this game can't be fixed, it needs a massive rework from the ground up. In my eyes, if I see the Dalek Entertainment in any of the future games, I'm most likely not gonna buy it. Luckily, I got my money back. Normally, I often read game reviews before I buy them to see what I'm getting into. This was a blind buy because I'm a Love of the Rings fan and thought I could expect a great game. I was very mistaken. Bought and play on PS5. Graphics, 3 out of 10. I have seen better graphics on a PS3 game. These graphics are so outdated, it is just not funny at all. I even tried setting the parameters to quality, and also tried quality with ray tracing. Quality seemed very dull and bland, not much texture, whereas quality with ray tracing just made everything grainy, like looking at sand blowing in the wind. Movement controls, 3 out of 10. Very bad and very basic. I have not experienced any of the glitches or bugs I'm reading about, like Gollum not grabbing a ledge when he should, but it just seems like there should have been more to it than walk, run, and jump. You can occasionally kill an orc by choking him out, unless of course they are wearing a helmet, which 98% of them are, and the ones wearing a straw hat, yeah that counts as a helmet I guess. Story 6 out of 10. The story is one shining light to this game. However, if you know nothing about the Law of the Rings universe, then you will know nothing about this game or its story. It will seem hard to pick certain things up too, for example, when Gollum continually talks about Shiloh, he never mentions her name and only describes her, so you won't know who he is talking about unless you know the lore. Lore, 1 out of 10. They could have made this a big hit, but instead it's just collectibles scattered around the maps. No story behind them or what they are. For example, one collectible is a bat's wing. And that's it! You have collected a bat's wing! Overall, 2 out of 10. 
This is hands down one of the worst purchases I have made in many years and I really really regret it. Plus, I got a DLC which makes it more expensive. By the way, you don't need a DLC. It does nothing for the game unless you want to hear elves speak elven and get some golem emotes which at the time of this writing neither worked for me. It says on in the DLC menu but I get nothing. You also get art and the game soundtrack, whatever. Now, standing shoulder to shoulder with the fantastic Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and Middle Earth Shadow of War duology comes the Law of the Rings, Gollum. This epic tale from the Dalek Entertainment and Nacon offers gamers an opportunity to experience a journey through the eyes of Middle Earth's most underrated character, the eponymous Gollum. This game takes place many decades after the events of The Hobbit and features untold sequences that shed further light upon the darkness of Mordor and the tragedy of Gollum. This title is a third-person action-adventure game featuring stealth and platforming across a variety of iconic destinations. Gollum provides a journey unlike any other and should be a necessary addition to the collection of any self-respecting Middle-earth fan. Regarding the story, this game definitely has something to say. I would hate to spoil this exhilarating 12-hour tale, so I'll keep details to a minimum. However, it must be noted that Gollum takes place parallel to the events of the Fellowship of the Ring, and that happens to feature a similar level of vision, scale, and refinement in storytelling. With all this being said, there should be no question that the narrative alone is worth the price of admission. The precious edition is currently priced at $69.99 USD, tax not included, $2.99 emotes pack also not included. Regarding the gameplay, this title is something you can absolutely play. The platforming mechanics rival that of the story Uncharted franchise offering a greater sense of verticality, production value, and fantastical adventure. The stealth gameplay is also exceptionally detailed and thought out, constantly delivering sneaking experiences that are just as thrilling and as polished as the platforming sequences. The stealth is so engaging that it even makes the original stealth saga Metal Gear Solid noticeably obsolete and far less original by comparison. However, the real highlight of this game is the ability to make choices that critically impact key points of the narrative. Gamers can choose to side with either the good Smeagol side or the evil Gollum side. This gameplay inclusion is very fitting of Gollum and thus allow each of the qualities of such complex and layered character to truly shine namely his single-minded, shallow and one-dimensional pursuit of the One Ring. A Gollum-led game is indubitably a concept that needed to be fleshed out and delivered one day. I'm happy to report that after several delays, this idea has finally arrived at a playable state. The game delivers top-of-the-line graphics and a narrative recounted with a stunningly large attention to detail. The constant texture pop-ins, FPFs, drops, and stuttering help to convey the fractured mind of the title's eponymous protagonist as he is pressured to retell his magical adventure. These efforts deserve commendation, and while the canon of Monolith Productions' duology is up for debate, I would argue that Gollum is worthy of becoming canon along with the Rings of Power. While I personally do not have any notable criticisms to make of Gollum, I have seen a handful of critiques claiming that this game is deserving of universal disapproval. Complaints cite things like, It's nothing but fetch quests! Nobody wanted a Gollum game, and why? One notable commenter I saw kept on insisting that there are vastly superior games to play right now, such as Resident Evil 4, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Street Fighter 6, and Final Fantasy 16. To that, I must say, I have already experienced Leon Kennedy murdering villagers in 2005, I have thrust my sword through Ganondorf on multiple occasions. 
I have caved Chandi's face in as real and I have watched Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. I have not witnessed a journey as Gollum before. I do not support any of these blasphemous claims as I have faced no such issues while playing this game. Regardless of these unjustified critiques, in addition to not actually owing a copy of The Law of the Rings Gollum, I do own a PlayStation 5 home gaming console, which grants me authority to speak on this issue. In conclusion, I cannot recommend Middle Earth Shadow of War enough, so please go out and purchase this product. Get ready for an all throttling good time. Excuse me, but WTF is this? It is literally piece of crap. Just buy another game instead of this. <laughs>